The news this evening, many across Texas are praying for a young cheerleader who was in the ICU after police say a, a gunman opened fire on her and her friends. We want to thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I firing bullets at those chicks. What? Jesus Christ. Man. We already, I already know. I mean, the, my mind's made up. Oh, wait, wait maybe she turned somebody a down. Story for her, for her teammates and really for a community. But the school girls were leaving the Houston area. They were headed to Austin after they just finished practice at the Woodlands Elite Cheer Company. And KPRC 2's Candace Burns is joining us live now from the newsroom with much more on how this all unfolded. So, Mulatto Halle Berry, man, you want to fucking... Somebody got to mute themselves, man. Piff, you got to mute yourself, man. You're getting off to a rocky fucking start, man. Um... Where's all the celebrities, man? This girl's a fucking cheerleader, man. Um, a beautiful mulatto girl. Mm -hmm. Was she? They know it was a sudden, man. I mean, like, think about it, man. A group of cheerleaders get shot at by some fucking sudden, man. And that's less of a story than some fucking goddamn gorilla showing up at some goddamn 84-year-old man's home. <laughs> <laughs> This is a worse story, man. On paper. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Shit. Yeah, they were headed to Austin after they just finished practice at the Woodlands Elite Cheer Company. And KPRC 2's Candace Burns is joining us live now from the newsroom with much more on how this all unfolded. Candace, truly heart. Look at her. She can't even. Everyone else agrees. This is worse than that fucking Ralph Yarl story. Way worse. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Compared to this. Like, it was some chili. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? This is. This is. This right here is like something that, like, if you wrote it in a movie, people would be like, it's like you watching a movie and some cheerleaders are just. He got the pom poms. They're leaving the fucking thing, and some guy just pulls up his razor. Yeah, he like that right. was that was over the top, man. You, like that was Hollywood, you know. That, yeah. you know, you know. Uh, chat <laughs> saying it was on burrito. They're, they're pushing the envelope with that one. <laughs> it could have been on burritos. Let's see, but it wasn't a white guy, so no one gives a fuck. Hmm. Hey, um, Piff, you you got a lot of fucking static, man. I'm about to drop you, man. You 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 sound like you're taking a fucking shower or some shit. Yeah, kind of gave me a headache. Much more <laughs> on how this all unfolded, Candace. Truly heartbreaking story, Daniela. The cheerleaders involved in this shooting are from Austin. They had been in the Houston area preparing for a competition this weekend that's going to happen in Florida. They were carpooling back home when police say an innocent mix-up quickly escalated to this violence. Uh -oh. I call on you, Lord, that you would just bring peace, that you would bring rest, that you would... Hearts are heavy at the Woodlands Elite Cheer Company in Oak Ridge. A gym full of competitive cheerleaders and their That's family close. spent Tuesday night praying for Peyton Washington. She was shot on the left side. Back. The high school senior was seriously injured after police say a gunman shot at a car carrying her and three other cheerleaders. It happened after their carpool returned to their parked vehicles at an HEB in Elgin around 12.15 a.m. I just saw like a black figure in the passenger seat and... <laughs> <laughs> well, she fucking said <laughs> Salute to her. She got up in front of everybody and said it. Yeah, nobody will say that word. <laughs> son Rito, baby, it was son Rito, man. Yes. Nah, that was son, man. Fuck her. <laughs> and after their carpool returned to their parked vehicles at an HEB in Elgin around 12:15 a.m. I just saw like a black figure in the passenger seat, and I shut the door. Another cheerleader, Heather, says she approached a car that she thought was hers in the parking lot. When she opened the door, she noticed someone sitting on the passenger side and quickly got back into the car with the other girls. I see the guy get out of the passenger door and I roll my window down um, and I was trying to apologize to him for accidentally getting in. Oh, so no one should it be was a mistake. No one should ever be shot for accidentally going to the wrong car. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong guy. Oh, the irony, the irony. That's the irony. sick, man. Yeah, it really is. Oh fuck. Well, well, Biden should be keep your phone charged up because Biden should be calling me fucking minute now. Facts. Like, 
What the fuck? I went to down. Um, went sitting on the passenger side and quickly got back into the car with the other girls. I see the guy get out of the passenger door and I roll my window down um, and I was trying to apologize to him for accidentally getting in the wrong car. I didn't get in the car, I just opened the door. Um, and then he, uh, I just, halfway my window was down, he just threw his hands up and then he pulled out a gun. And then he just started shooting at all of us. Heather was grazed by a bullet, but police say Peyton had to be flown by helicopter to the hospital. It was. Think about that, man. Think about I... how bad she feels. <sighs> no, I mean, I get that. I get that part, but think about him. You're sitting in your car, a young white girl comes, pulls your door, she closes, it. she's like, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. She walks back to her car, gets in, you get out, and just shoot at all her, all of her friends. Like, that, bullets. <laughs> that type of person is a fucking menace to society, yo. That guy that reacts like that, what would he do if it was like, I mean, like, it's a group of cheerleaders. They obviously, they just yeah, left. Exactly. And I, and I did, oh, man, and something like that. We'd have like, hey, oh, oh, hey, shorty, oh, oh, come here, my bad. Hey, exactly. no problem. Come over here. Try to get her number and shit. Exactly. Oh, he shot, he shot at the car. That shit is crazy, man. That would have been, been like, nah, the only thing right, threatening would have been like a, a party of children that walked up to them. I mean, these, these some men are out of fucking control and this is how you you it's going to get worse because they're now election mode the election mode means that racism. they're going to be excused for everything yeah. racism 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 constant information consumption constant <laughs> wow that was a that was a weird situation and and you know what? Usually you'd be like, there's got to be more to it. She had to open the door and said, hey, your son word. But it's like, you know that it didn't have to be anything more than what she said. Like, when it, when it comes to sons, like the little kid said earlier in the other story, he stepped on my shoe. You know it don't have to be this deep conspiracy. It could just be literally what she said <laughs> Yeah. Come on, man. The meme mug. The meme mug. Oh, come on. You already know, man. The meme mug gets you killed. Exactly. This, this is insane. Carrying her and three other cheerleaders. It happened after their carpool returned to their parked vehicles at an HEB in Elgin around 12 15 a.m. I just saw like a black figure in the passenger seat and I shut the door. As fast as I could. Another cheerleader, Heather, says she approached a car that she thought was hers in the parking lot. When she opened the door, she noticed someone sitting on the passenger side and quickly got back into the car with the other girls. I see the guy get out of the passenger door and I roll my window down um, and I was trying to apologize to him for accidentally getting in the wrong car. I didn't get in the car, I just opened the door. Um, and then he, uh, I just halfway my window was down he just threw his hands up and then he pulled out a gun and then he just started shooting at all of us heather was grazed by a bullet but police say peyton had to be flown by helicopter to the hospital it was unfortunate these girls were um just trying to get home lynn Shear, owner of the woodlands elite cheer company says peyton is recovering she's no longer on a ventilator that's nearby but she's me. going to miss that's right nearby me. <laughs> well, peep the language though. With the black kid in, in, in Kansas City, it's a fucking tragedy. It's the worst thing that ever happened. It's a country. It's a, the diving on the country. This whore called that shit unfortunate. We're um, just trying to get home. A Peyton had to be flown by helicopter to the hospital. It was unfortunate these girls were um, just trying to get home. Lynn Shear, owner of the Woodlands Elite Cheer Company, says Peyton is recovering. She's no longer on a ventilator, but she's going to miss a competition that she's worked extremely hard to win, the World Champion Cheer title. She's yeah, won every title there is to win an all-star cheerleading. She's literally time. a role model. <laughs> One on no <laughs> ventilator didn't get medevac <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, 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 I, and you see these, these this family, all these people right here, they ain't still in the gas station either. 
<laughs> exactly. Yeah. Sue the fucking parking lot and shit. <laughs> For the kids in this industry throughout the country, everybody knows her. She's literally one of the very best that's ever done the sport. She won't be competing this weekend, unfortunately. She has multiple more surgeries in front of her. Shear says Peyton's a fighter. She only has one lung, but the elite athlete never let that hold her back. Even if Joe calls, she's not going to be able to answer. Wow. And he's not going to call. <laughs> Yo, Joe's not calling, man. Well, listen, Joe would invite her to the White House. Though, but, um, For what it's yeah. worth, this guy's name is Pedro Teo Rodriguez Jr. So, <laughs> Pedro who? Pedro yeah. <laughs> Rodriguez Jr. Do we have That's a picture? Brito. No picture, I don't think, but... That sounds pretty um burrito. That sounds, that sounds a burrito. Teo. Teo. Yeah, T E L L O. I think that's how it's pronounced. Yeah, that's from Brito. My from name Brito. is uh, Villaflor, and you pronounce it Via Flor, because we don't say uh, quesadillas. Right. Yeah. Right. So tell me this: you can't find a picture of hot blood. I was looking and I didn't see one, but I just saw the name and then the chat saying that too. That's how. That's where I went to look for it. So it, it wasn't a white guy, so Biden's not cold. Yeah. She was born that way, so she's been fighting the odds since she was a baby. The standout cheerleader earned a scholarship to join Baylor University's Division One acrobatics Damn. and tumbling team. Damn. The cheer family is praying she has the strength to fight through this tragedy so she can continue to live out her dreams. Mm. Father, I pray for her heart, for her mind, for her body, for her leadership. Elgin police say they arrested the suspected shooter Pedro Telo Rodriguez Jr. last night. He's been charged with deadly conduct, a third degree felony, and additional charges could be filed. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help Peyton's family pay for her medical expenses, and you can find a link to that page on our website. Oh, Live good. The They'll get like $1,200 or something. Yeah, well, well she's got a good community behind her. I think she may get yeah, a little that's bit true. more than $1,200, but maybe 40,000 30,000 but it won't be 4 million like that fucking um goddamn Is it really 4 million? It was wow. 3 million yesterday so I'm just assuming God. that it's 4 million. It really is the new George Floyd. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. Um and that kid he'd be smart to never uh, have an interview, to never talk. To never get don't even fucking give an interview. Just fucking be that mystery guy, because once he talks, all he's gonna do is throw is, is, is lose prestige. Oh my god! Um, let's see. What